You wanted to discuss something. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Get to work then, Witcher. I'll need your help. I need to find the right ghosts, somehow. They will find you. The aura of the artifacts will lure them. Let them think, speak and act. Then you'll know what to do. Geralt, there is something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It has changed. A drog. I expected as much. Good luck, Witcher. Try anything. Forgive them. Hatred blinds them. Money must wait. Time's not right. Sometimes I forget what if I do. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why don't them avenge and hen sells duel to settle things? My brother-in-law is from Kedwin, a decent fellow. Once I was in a market there. Quality goods cheaper than our merchants do. Bloody hell! Shut it! Every Kedwin is a bastard. Do you know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they come to pillage, burn, and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and sea! Autumn! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Capture the enemy standard! The Eternal Battle. Um, so this quest has, I'd say, four like kind of distinct phases. This first one, uh, your objective is just to feed all the enemies in, in this area. Uh, thing is, the fire kind of surrounds you immediately, and you can't roll, and your soldiers die almost instantly. So get good at blocking. That's and uh, the reposts if you have them. Especially if you're on the higher difficulty settings, you die really fast. But uh, most of the enemies in all fairness also die incredibly easy as well. Like if you actually get like two hits on anything, it will basically die. Uh, this first part can be kind of difficult, especially if you get knocked into fire by the drug. Yeah, uh, if you don't have the reposts, I don't know what you would do. 
is you can't use magic, you can't roll, you can't use bombs. That's kind of the problem I have with that area, is you can't use like half the tools you have been using. Although that is a different kind of challenge. I think part of it was is the fire surrounding you, so you can't even try to run away. Since you can't roll, you can't move very fast. Now ah, well. So this next part here is actually really easy. All you have to do is run run between um, wooden. I also I call them barricades, but they don't really stop anything. Well, it, it's cover. Basically, you just need to not get hit by the arrows that are also on fire. So all you do is you stand behind the wooden thing. After the arrows stop, run to the next one. Uh, don't run um, between. Don't try and skip any of them. You won't make it in time. Uh, there's a pretty good audio cue of a large, of a loud horn playing right before the arrows hit, as well as you can see them pretty easily. It's the big red mass in the sky flying at you. So, uh, got a bit of a cutscene and I'll pick up after it. So, I'm off for now. My lord, the leader of the Dun Banner sent me. We were ambushed. We can't hold. Weren't your scouts keenly watching the battlefield, Captain? Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glefazig scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hope. And you, Glefazig. I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I finished talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle! My lords, to your battles! Enter the fray! Maybe you finished with me, but that doesn't mean I finished with you. Nado You, Sabrina. My place at Hensel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking Upper Edda. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. Yeah. Alright, so the next segment, I guess, that you would have for the Eternal Battle Quest is you now take control of Selkirk's uh, spirit, I guess? And I believe you get his armor after this quest, just for free. You can't sell it for money, I don't think anyone would take it. I think it might actually be worth zero gold. 
Um, either way, this is another time when you cannot roll or use magic or any of your throwing weapons. So I say we just rely on uh, blocking and your post. Uh, if you can't, uh, sorry, not. Oh uh, yeah, if you either can't get the timing for the repost down, or you don't have the ability altogether, um, all you have to do is just hold um, your equivalent, your block button, E for keyboard, and I don't know what the 360 comp is. Uh, wait for them to hit you, and then just hit them as they're kind of recoiling back. The repost is a good way to do kind of massive damage and possibly uh, an instant kill. For the second wave of uh, enemy soldiers, uh, since there's four of them, they're going to do a lot of damage to you really fast. Uh, the reason for that is during the repost animations and uh, the parrying attacks, that's just when you block an attack afterwards, you're still vulnerable to being hurt. Sometimes, I don't know. Maybe the collision is possibly slightly buggy around that point, but I don't really know. Either way, uh, you can kind of walk forward and drag one or two of them out at a time. Uh, I believe as long as you don't get all four, you should be fine, especially with two shield guys that can theoretically be coordinated to charge you. Uh, like after one charges you and you get back up, the other one comes in and you don't have time to react because you can't roll. Now watch out for those um, like flaming, like the large fireballs coming down. Those will kill you. I was actually standing under one. I think a shield guy knocked me over at the last second or something, or I looked away and then I looked back and I'd been crushed by it. So now we're actually Geralt again. There's only two things left to fight. There's the uh, Draugir in front of you, and then there's the actual uh, boss, the Draug itself. Which, that thing is really cool. So the design of that character is just awesome. Will Just die. armor and scraps of wood from those uh, wooden defenses, like just held together with string, and possessed by an evil spirit, consumed by hatred. It's ridiculous. The actual drog ears are made of armor. The other thing, the actual drog is, I swear to God, the thing's half wood. Maybe it's actually weak to fire. Look that, look that one up. Yeah, the actual draw gear itself is not that difficult. Mercy. It goes down pretty quickly. Oh, I did not see the skeleton inside that thing. The uh, draw gear. So, yeah, here's the boss. All the bosses in this game are significantly larger than Garrow. First, you have the K ring, which is massive. You have this guy. Yeah, be careful about his sword. He hurts you a lot. Also, he can... I think he can hurt you through your shield. Like the Quen spell. As insane as it sounds, I think he can do it. I believe that charge move will do damage to you. Um, okay, so... The thing about this guy is if you stay really far away, he'll call down um, a rain of flaming arrows. He can also turn into a bit of a twister, where he kind of all the parts that make him up kind of come apart and start swirling around. And if you get caught up in that for too long, that will kill you. So you see the two meters on in the center, upper center portion of the screen. The first one obviously is the health bar, the red one. The second one is the health meter of his shield, that really big thing in the front. So if you attack him head on, you chip away that instead of his actual health. But if you hit him from behind, like perfectly, you will directly hit the drog instead of 
uh, the shield. I had times where he's he died in like 20 seconds because I just hit him in the back. I just did so much damage that he couldn't deal with it. But not super difficult. Um, the arrows and the large uh, fireballs that he can call down from the sky. Those ones can be a little trickier. The arrows that I, yeah that he's calling in. Uh, the main thing is don't stop moving. If you kind of just run in a little pattern around, you should be fine. And especially if you keep uh, the Quen shield up, it doesn't have to be upgraded to actually like take his hits because it's not going to matter. If he gets hit, if you get hit with the shield, the shield's gone anyways. Yeah, I, there I got hit. I wonder if you have the arrow um, uh, blocking talent, uh, if, if you can just block for that whole thing and you'll be perfectly fine. I never got that, so I don't actually know about that one. The game saves, the game auto saves really often and it doesn't delete any save files, so if you have the arrow blocking talent, try it, see what happens. Yeah. I think at this point, yeah, his shield just... I don't think his shield can even do anything. If you, you see, there's, there's all the holes in it. Yeah. I'd also recommend using heavy attacks. They do way more damage. And... Right, there's still one more thing where you have to... where you inhabit the body of a priest and you just need to leave, um, some men to save and I don't think you really have to actually keep them in line. I think they might just follow you really, really well. Basically, stay away from the glowing red spots on the ground. It's not particularly difficult. But you are in some kind of... You're in a little bit of a tighter passageway at the beginning of this one. Decent amount of that is covered in red, so... Safely from the dark abyss! I believe this part is the only thing different from Roach's path on the same quest. I believe it's only this end part that, that's different. Yes, it is. Uh, the end part of Roach's path is uh, you're kind of trying to just crawl away from it. Instead, in this one, you're leading men to safety. I believe that. Actually, I don't know why they did that. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. Either way, I'm done for this video, and I'll see you all in another one. Save us, sire! Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning, they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, your mark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle is lost. You're put into shame before them of end. His troops fought like men of honor should. To the end. Sabrina Grevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn at the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man, can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. You're finally awake. Am I dead or hallucinating? 
You wouldn't meet me in the beyond. I don't remember coming here. Because you didn't. Don't forget, we sorceresses have our ways. In that case, thanks for your help. You're too valuable to let die. You did the impossible. I don't know anyone who could deal with such a powerful curse. Neither do I. Now, tell me everything that happened. I saw Henselt sentencing Sabrina to death. I killed the Drog. You must have, since the curse has gone. I saw Vandergrift. I saw a rain of fireballs and death all around me. Everywhere. Henselt is a criminal. He used the circumstances to kill Sabrina. He hated her. That's why you sided with Edern. For vengeance? It's not about vengeance. It's about a better world. A world without Henselts. That's utopia. Passing through such a concentrated mass of the power opens the mind. Cedric was right. The power of the Wraith's battle restores memory. And what have you recalled? Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved him once and he helped me find the Wild Hunt. I just don't know if we managed to save Yennefer. Did you learn anything else about the hunt? When I killed the King of the Hunt, I killed a wraith. In my memories, I fight the hunt's riders. Blood flows from their wounds and they cry out in pain. Which means you do not yet know all. Not to worry. I will. You lifted the curse, but there's no time to rest. Henselt's army will attack at any moment. How's Saskia feeling? Completely recovered. She can't wait to deal with Henselt. She'll personally command the defense of Vergen. She's in her element. A siege can't be her element if she never faced one. You underestimate her. Keep in mind she's got allies. A famous witcher and me. Perhaps I helped Henselt and put Edern in danger by lifting the curse, but I had no other choice. Sometimes you need to amputate the leg to save the body. Time to decide the outcome of this war. High time. Zoltan and Yarpen are setting up the troops. They're waiting for you. <laughs> 